Pin Duo Duo reported earnings on Tuesday and the stock jumped 18%. The company crushed expectations with revenue increasing 94% year over year and earnings up 47%. That top line revenue was 2 billion more than analysts were expecting. Pin Duo Duo stock has now gained 635% since its IPO. Over that same period, Alibaba has declined 61% and JD.com is down 24%. At the latest share price, the company now has a market cap bigger than Alibaba at roughly $207 billion. Looking at the latest 12-month figures, the company has reported $28 billion of revenue and $6.4 billion of net income, which means the stock is valued at 32 times earnings. Bear in mind that revenue represents only a small share of sales executed on the platform. In 2021, gross merchandise value, GMV, was more than 25 times the company's revenue. That means $700 billion could be flowing through the Pinduo Duo platform. Even so, a PE of 32 and an EV to EBITDA multiple of 26 are reasonable. And bulls think that TeamU, the company's global merchandise platform, will continue that growth. The company doesn't break out TeamU's results, but a Citigroup analyst thinks the platform accounts for about 13% of total revenue. And while the company promotes TeamU aggressively, sales and marketing expense as a percentage of revenue actually fell 7%. In other words, it looks like Pinduo's stock has more room to run. But there are some big risks to be aware of. Over $4 billion of PDD stock is sold short, and a recent Bear report argues that the TMU app is actually malware. Investing in Chinese stocks presents unique risks, and short sellers have questioned the company's accounting methods. Meanwhile, the US government is investigating the company on a number of grounds, including the use of forced labour. By shipping ultra-cheap products, Pinduo Duo is also able to avoid import taxes, which are only applied to packages over $800. It wouldn't be a surprise to see the US government take action against Pinduo Duo, but even that may not affect growth. Barely eight years after its founding, half a trillion dollars worth of merchandise is moving through the platform each year. But it's impossible to ignore the risks around PDD stock. That's why I give it a neutral rating. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice. And I've got no position in the company. For more investing videos, visit my website, 3minutebreakdowns.com. And thank you for watching.